Hey guys and welcome back for another math theory. So today I'm going to be talking about cursed swords and theorize about the origins of cursed swords. In legends and throughout history, there have been several cursed swords which have existed. It is notable that swords are not only weapons, they can be symbols of great power used over the centuries as offerings in ceremonies, for coronations and as precious items for trade. I'll start by comparing two different curses. Muramasa Sengo was a legendary Japanese swordsmith during the Muramachi period. He was known for his work and for his school which was created in 1501. He named the swords he forged after himself. The saying says that a Muramasa blade has to draw blood before it can be returned to its scabbard, even to the point of forcing its wielder to wound himself or to commit suicide. A case is known for the Muramasa blade, a story told in 1823 about an incident in Edo Castle says that a swordsman called Matsudaira Geki killed three men easily for revenge while using a Muramasa blade. Then he went on a killing spree for no reason, again with the Muramasa blade. The second curse is from the world of One Piece. I know it's not real, but it does have a connection with the previous curse. The Kitetsu swordsmiths are very skilled having forged some of the most powerful swords in the world, but every Kitetsu sword is cursed. The saying states that the Kitetsu blade eventually kills their wielders and that they are bloodthirsty blades. However, a person's luck can overcome the blade's curse. A case is briefly mentioned in One Piece. All of them came to tragic fates, mysterious death. You won't find a single swordsman in the world nowadays who will use a Kitetsu blade because everyone who ever used the sword is dead. There are three Kitetsu blades which are mentioned in the story of One Piece. Shodai Kitetsu, Sandai Kitetsu, and the most recent one, Nidai Kitetsu. So, to come to my theory, swords can be cursed because when the swordsmiths forge their swords, they trap a soul inside it. He committed his soul and spirit into the forging and tempering of the steel. The way that the curse is shown is by controlling their wielders because they are bloodthirsty blades. Both the Muramasa blades and the Kitetsu blades are known to control their wielders causing them to be killed or to kill. The curses can also create illusions of demons such as Ashura and Devas who make them go berserk. Both curses are created by the swordsmiths. Despite the fact that these swords are cursed, doesn't mean that the swordsmiths are cursed too. It's the manner in which that they've been forged which creates the curse. I hope you enjoyed the theory about the origins of cursed swords. I wanted to make this video following the fact that this topic is quite present in the community. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you enjoy the content I post on this channel, please become a patron here. By supporting the channel on Patreon, you will have access to exclusive behind the scenes clips, be able to have your own math theory ideas on this channel in future videos, and become an exclusive math theorist yourself. So please apply here. Also, you can connect with me by Discord by sharing your thoughts and math theory ideas with me and with others. By being a patron, you will have exclusive Discord lounges. Check the Patreon and Discord links in the descriptions. If not, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next math theory video.